Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine to do to exercise your upper body joints. So when I mean upper body joints, it means from your waist up. So if you're somebody who experiences a lot of tension in your arms, your wrists, your shoulders, neck, we will work all of those areas to help you release any kind of stiffness, any kind of pain that you may have in your upper body, particularly in your joints. So let's get started. First, stand with your feet shoulder width apart so you have a solid foundation. And you wanna keep your feet parallel, so like this, so not like this, feet parallel. When you make your feet parallel, it will contain your energy rather than leaking it up. So make your feet parallel and slightly bend your knees. Slightly bend your knees, you'll feel your body weight shifting to the bottom of your feet. From here, lightly shake your head side to side. Shake your head side to side. As you shake your head side to side, feel the back of your head, your neck vertebrae. So imagine you are shaking the base of your skull from there going down vertebrae by vertebrae. So imagine you are shaking the back of your skull and going down vertebrae by vertebrae. Releasing tension from your cervical vertebrae. Releasing tension from your cervical vertebrae. Now shake here for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Now point your chin downward, stretch your neck, back of your neck. Clasp your hands and push gently down on the back side, stretching the back side of your neck. Lightly bounce like you're stretching a rubber band. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Now bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Push your right fingers down more. Create space on the right side of your neck. Use your left hand to push gently down. Create more space. Gentle bouncing. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now switch other side, right ear to your right shoulder, left fingers go down. Create space in your left neck. Use your right hand to push down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Now gentle bouncing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten release now from center point your chin down and rotate your neck feel your vertebrae it's very important you feel your vertebrae since we're focusing on the joints in this video feel your cervical vertebrae vertebrae of your neck i suggest keeping your mouth slightly open to breathe out <sighs> release any tension you have in your neck Switch direction, other way. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, now return. All right, so next, your shoulders. Touch your shoulders, point your elbows to the side. And now we're going to rotate your shoulders, but imagine you are making circles with your elbows. So you want to Pull your elbows out to the side so you're not crunching like this. Give room to your shoulders and from here, make circles like this. Bring your mind to your shoulder joints. Your shoulders should feel like they're rotating like this because they are a ball and socket joint. They rotate this way. So feel your shoulders, okay? Rotate your shoulders. Let's go 10 times one way, 10 times the other way. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the other direction. One, feel your shoulders. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. 
Good job, relax. Shake your shoulders up and down. Shoulders up and down and neck side to side. Ooh, get your neck and shoulders for 10 seconds. <sighs> shake, shake, shake. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Next, your elbows. Point your palms towards me. Make a fist. And now, rotate just your elbows. So watch, like this. That's one. So in essence, your palms start forward, but then they end backward, like that, okay? So with your fist, palms forward first, rotate your elbows. Don't move your shoulders, just your elbows. One, two, feel your elbows. Can you feel your elbows? You can feel the muscles around there moving too. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now the other way. So start with your palms backwards this time, and then they're gonna end forward, okay? So palms backwards, make a fist, and now rotate. So now my palms are forward. Flip again, rotate. Feel your elbows, okay? Palms start back and they end forward. Ready, 10 times. Make a fist, palms back, one, Two, three, four, five, six, feel your elbows, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Shake your arms, shake your feet. All right, next is your wrist. Now, you want to clasp your hands, but clasp them on the first knuckle. So you don't want to go all the way in like this. Not even your second knuckle, your first knuckle. The first knuckle that you have, cross your fingers on the first knuckle. Place your thumbs together on your index finger. Imagine you're holding a tennis ball, tennis ball inside. You don't want to drop the tennis ball and you don't want to squish the tennis ball. So keep a nice rounded shape in your hands, and this time, rotate your wrist. So you're pushing your wrist forward first. Might feel a little awkward. If you're not used to moving this muscle, it might feel awkward, but that's okay. Just keep imagining a tennis ball and push your wrist forward. Like this. Let's do 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, push your left wrist, right wrist, push forward, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this time, push your wrist in towards you. So pull your wrist in towards you. So now if you have a lot of shoulder tension, you might feel your shoulders going up, but try to drop, relax your shoulders, and move your wrist. So now pull your wrist in. You might hear some snap, crackle, pop. 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 and return. So next is your finger joints. I made a 10 minute video routine about how you can exercise all of your finger joints. Make sure you check it out using this link above. So to exercise your fingers, face your palms forward and you want to squeeze your palms together. So squeeze your fingers and then open as wide as you can. Squeeze, open, squeeze, open. Squeeze open, stretching your fingers like this. 10 times, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, shake, 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 shake. Woo, great job. 
All right, now last one, your waist. So we're gonna stop at the waist for the upper body exercises. Bring your feet shoulder width apart, hands on your waist. Push your waist out to the right side. Feel your right waist. And then now from here, make a big circle with your hips. So big circle backwards and forward like that. Big, big circle with your hips. So pushing your hips forward, pushing your hips back. Let's do five times on each side. One, you don't have to go that fast. Make sure you're feeling your body. That's the important part. Two. Breathe. Three. Four. Five. Great, now the other side. Push with your hips. Make big, big circles. One, two, three, four, and five. Return side to side. And stop. Great job. How do you feel? Feel your body now. Feel your upper body. Do your joints feel a little bit more limber? Of course, 10 minutes is not enough time to completely feel relaxed and completely feel open, but it will definitely help you bring the circulation to your upper body, especially if you have a lot of pain in your joints, neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers, and then in your hips as well. You did a great job. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body of brain yoga studio near you.